Who are you? The greatest radio talk show host ever. Talk. Wake up. This is a wake up call of the. We're almost ready to go live. Town. It's time for that radio show everyone loves. Ready to party. Start the party. Party over here. Welcome into the show. Catch Talk of the Town live on 103.7 WTIB and 94.1 WNBU. Cable 7 in Greenville and worldwide at WTIBFM.com. This is your home for local and community information, news, politics, sports, all the info you need to start your day. Now, here's the host for Talk of the Town, Henry Hinton. Hey now, welcome in everybody. Talk of the Town, Monday, December the 18th. Welcome in. It is uh, one week now before Christmas. We are one week away from uh, the big fat guy. Uh, coming to your house, and uh, Santa will be there, too. I was, I was referring to your uncle. Oh! Your, your drunk uncle. Oh! You know, the drunk uncle that comes in here, the fat oh. guy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uncle Bill. <laughs> yeah. Welcome into uh, Talk of the Town uh, Monday, and uh, we will be here all week this week, and then next week we will not be. We're going to take next week off, and so, uh, but actually we'll be here on tape because we're going to be doing... Uh, the best of talk of the towns. Michael has been working round the clock to put that together, haven't you, Michael? Don't lie. Don't you lie, Michael. Huh? Yes, I am. Your microphone's not working, by the way. What's wrong with your microphone? I keep hearing it. See, the guy running the board can't run his own microphone. So how long is the best of? What do you mean? Oh, is that is that yeah, two hours? Two hours over the course of five days? It's 10 hours of tape. You, 10 hours of the best of? Are you saying there's not 10 hours? What are you Henry, saying? Henry, like mediocre of. <laughs> Maybe we can do a week of that. Well, that's what we were saying. Some of it's going to be mediocre. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, that ain't going to break. You know, he <laughs> yeah. he, why don't we just start referring to him as the Grinch? Mm-hmm. He's always got one for you. Okay, so so uh, Engelbrecht and I were talking about this during the news last night. I had to flip over and watch the live production of the Christmas story last night. Yeah. And I what happened couldn't there? I, I couldn't do it. That was tough. Well, you know what happened was they they turned it into a Broadway production and right. uh, I kept flipping over there. I tell you there was the one scene there with uh who's the who's the uh the blonde that used to work play in um uh, oh God. 30 Rock. 30 Rock. What's, yeah. her, what's her name? Don't know her name. but She's I mean, yeah. she's talented, man. Mm-hmm. They did a whole tap dance scene with the kids. Yep. yep. And that was outrageously entertaining. Yep. I don't have to say that. But the whole Christmas story thing, I mean, I think it just doesn't work for me as a musical. No. Because if, if you remember, uh-huh. Ralphie was this kind of little um, shy kid that was always getting beat up by the um, by the bully and... He wanted the BB gun and all. I mean, and I love that movie. It's my favorite Me Christmas too. Me movie. Too. I love the a Christmas story, but they turned they turned Ralphie into this uh, vivacious, talented singing kid, and I was yeah. like, I, I don't know if that works, but yeah. And then they had the narrator, um, uh, what's his name? Ferris Bueller stayed off. Yeah, Ferris Matthew Bueller. Broderick. Ferris Bueller was the was the moderator. Mm-hmm. This is the biggest role he's had since Ferris Bueller. It's a long one, too. Except for War Games. Remember War Games? Three hours. Would you like to play a game? <laughs> I, can't, I can't imagine that. And, and, you know, it didn't look live, did it? They did, um, they, you know, when, when, they yeah, did, no. when they did Sound of Music live, it looked like live. Yeah. Like it was live. They, the, the way that they shot this, they shot it some way to make it not look live. Right. It was like with a handheld. Well, with, but, but with also the, the quality of the... The quality of the of, of the production, the it, it looked like it was film. Hmm. I don't know how they. I mean, they, I think they did that on purpose. Yeah, which yeah. made me think it might not really be. The ten seconds I saw it looked, I'm like you. It didn't look live. And it was on. It was on the back lot at like Warner Brothers. Yeah, in they Cali- used the entire California. Lot. And but but you kept hearing going into commercials. You kept hearing a fake audience. They they did that with the other ones too, like Greece. <laughs> They had just a, just people, like just stands where yeah. people were sitting. At the very end, they'd have an audience that they could show or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like it would have worked if they would have advertised it as straight from Broadway. 
yeah, Christmas I, I Story did, I, musical. Did you know it was going to be a musical? No. I didn't either. And I, I think a lot of people who tuned in that night thought it was going to be a Christmas Story live. Right. And I, and I think that you're right. They should have announced, they should have said us a musical. But yeah. you know what? If they'd have said it, I don't think people would have yeah. watched it. Because yeah. they would have gone, you can't make that into a musical. But I would have seen it on Broadway. But, 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 you know, it, but, but I, feel yeah. bad that I'm, I feel bad that I'm being critical of it because the people in it yeah. were so talented. Yeah. That little kid was unbelievable. Right. And you and, forget that, yeah. Yeah, he was he was in, he was an incredible yep. talent. Yeah, because he's got he had to be like ten years old, and he don't you think? I would say yeah, probably twelve. Yeah, between ten and twelve. He, he didn't look twelve. Yeah, I always like err on the side of older. Yeah, you to did. get a bunch of kids like that. Were oh man, oh, yeah. Ugh. and he could sing. I mean, he could sing and dance, and yep. it was yeah. But I didn't. I, I'm with you. I it didn't work for me. That's okay, because uh, coming up on Saturday, we have 24 hours of A Christmas Story on TBS. Oh, so we do? That's always. You know, my wife said last night she's never seen it. No. Oh, what? I no. was like, oh, are you in for a treat? Man? Oh, you, you're man. Gonna, wow. You're, we're we're going to watch it this weekend. That's tradition so in our TBS house. on Christmas Eve? Yeah. Yeah, usually. They're running, yeah, at yeah. Tw- they're running at 24 hours it's either, in a row? I think it starts Christmas Eve and wow. goes through Christmas Day. So <laughs> They just run it over and over again. Yeah. We'll watch it probably 17 times. <laughs> it's Michelle's favorite Christmas movie, period. So oh, it's the best Christmas movie ever. Yeah. Yep. I, I want a leg lamp. <laughs> I want a leg lamp. <laughs> it's, it's a lamp. <laughs> Fragile. Yeah, Fragile. Right. <laughs> I love to see where they go They go out for dinner on Christmas. They can't oh, find anything. They, they go to the Chinese restaurant. <laughs> oh, no. Fa ra 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 in today's uh, political climate. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't work, would it? I don't yeah. know. We we do the Kim Jong Un thing. And that's it's, true. <laughs> yeah, that works. That works. Never mind. Hello, America. It's fine. Stupid people. <laughs> All right, twelve minutes. <laughs> Maybe not when you get an iPhone. I can tell you that. <laughs> Taking that one off my list. <laughs> twelve minutes. Twelve minutes after eight. Um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Marvin Jarman's going to be in here. He's going to be our special guest. Coach uh, RV is bringing him this morning. And um, Marvin, who received, was it last year? He it was received, 2016. He received, well, it was last year. Stick with me, McGee. This is 2017. I said yeah, it was last year. I always forget year. those events are coming at the beginning of the year. So, yeah. yeah. So, last year, the Greenville Chamber of Excuse Commerce uh, presented Marvin Jarman with the annual, well, it's not uh, the actual, the, the, yeah, it's not given every it's, year. It's not every year. The Legends Award. Uh, during its Golden Gala on January 23rd. Uh, Marvin Jarman, who has not missed a Rose High football game since the early 70s, but as of this coming, this this past Friday night, we think we're right about this, 1,200 Rose High basketball games in a row. No, we are right. I mean, that's, that's the report everyone that has. Is, that is yeah. it? Mm-hmm. A streak that began in 1966, in December of 66. That's unbelievable, isn't it? It is. And the thing is, you have to think, too, that of all the games he's attended, that so many other teams, schools, and fans from across the state know who Marvin Jarman is, too. Oh, yeah. He's not exactly. just a local legend. I think he's probably known throughout North Carolina high school athletics. Uh, my wife and I saw him at, um, uh, at, at, a, at a little local restaurant um, a week ago, last weekend, and I asked Marvin, I'm like, hey, don't you have uh, another milestone coming up? Aren't you about to see your 1,200 Rose High uh, game? And they gave him, a, they gave him a, a bunch of – they gave him a cake and some other stuff the other night at the game. Oh, gave him a warm-up jersey. Players yeah. wore warm-ups with, uh, with uh, kind of a congratulatory or said Marvin on the back or 1,200 games on the front. It had, Everybody uh, loves Marvin. Yeah. Marvin's unbelievable. So Marvin, Ramp it for life. Mar- Marvin Jarman and um, and Coach Ronald Vincent from Rose High School will be in here. It really is cool. In just a few minutes. So stand by for that. Sunshine 61 today, partly cloudy and a low of 42 tonight. On Tuesday, the temperature actually gets near 70. Yes. Now, what are we predicting for the weekend? Um let me go to the WITN app here. Okay. But, okay. I mean, I've got the I got the living app right here in front of me. Right, right. But that's fine. Go to. No. No, 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 no. Okay, well, let's see what you put on the app. <laughs> Jim would have. Th- that's th- Jim's. Oh, this is Jim's app yeah. this well, morning? Yep. 
Mm-hmm. Thursday, uh, 54. Okay. By the way, he doesn't agree with the 68 on Tuesday. He's saying it's going to be more like 66. Right. We came down. Why? Um, cloud cover. Cloud cover coming in and then where we're at today. But we also have to average it across eastern North Carolina when you look mm-hmm. at the eight-day forecast. So it might be a little bit different than what you're seeing on the I actually app. snuck out mid-afternoon yesterday and played nine holes of golf. What did you think? It was dark. Mm-hmm. It got, got really dark yeah. at like four o'clock. It was like pitch dark. Yeah, it was. It looked like nightfall. Had hit you, us. you want a little tidbit? You want a little, nice little tidbit for you? I, I'm dying for one. Um, Got to go. The I'm sun's, dying the for sun's a coming down. From here on out, our sunsets are getting later and later. We have passed oh. the threshold of early sunsets, so now they're just going to be going back further and further. I like that. Yeah, yeah it's more now. It's more like five forty-five between five forty-five. Let's six. see. It was four fifty-seven was the earliest, and now we're at like five o'clock, something like that. Maybe a little bit later. That's good to know. Don't quote me on that. But you're but you're you are predicting seventies for Saturday. Yeah, that's going to be quite the system. Yeah. You're going to hear a lot about that this week from national perspective too. Scott Shook wants to know when when in the heck are we going to have duck hunting season again. Duck, duck, <laughs> duck hunting weather again. People don't like this warm weather in December. Wait, you, what? When, you, when is he going to have duck hunting weather again? Like like freezing cold. Oh. I, that's the thing, all you duck hunters, I've never understood. You go out there at 4 in the morning when it's 10 degrees and you love that. Mm. To shoot ducks. Yeah. My dad tried to get me to do that with ice fishing. I said, hey, <laughs> let's go sit on some ice I'm, and I'm catch not, some fish. Yeah, there's some, you know, I'm I, out. You, I used to do a little hunting when I was growing up because everybody where I grew up, everybody hunted. That's what you did when you grew up. But, I mean, the idea of going out at 4 in the morning Oof. when it's icy cold outside to, to sit in a duck blind, I would rather you shoot me <laughs> than the duck. I don't understand that. May, should call in and tell us what the attraction of that is. 561-8255. <laughs> Five six one eight two five, and does it include Bud Lights? Mm-hmm. Yeah, at four in the morning. Yep, beer breakfast. <laughs> five six one eight two five five. No, stop texting me, Shook. He just said, with regard to me being shot, we can arrange that. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I want Shook to call Shook, call in, Shook, and tell us what the attraction to sitting in a duck blind at light at o light thirty. Oh, oh, dark light, oh, oh, in dark, waiters. Oh, oh dark light 30. 30. Yeah, fine. <laughs> By the way, today is Keith Richards' uh, birthday of the Rolling Stones. Any any guesses on his age? Keith Richards. 104? I mean, I'll put it to you this way. He's made it to an age I never thought he'd see. Oh, 47? <laughs> uh, Invert those numbers. Wow. And you got it. He's 74. He's 74 today. Adam. Boy. When, you know, and so what can we learn by the fact that Keith Richards made it to 74? It doesn't a, affect everybody the same way. Smoking, a chain-smoking, drinking, womanizing. I suspect there's been a few drugs along the way. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you think there's a chance? <laughs> no, there's yeah. definitely a chance. Keith Richards, 74 today. Steven Spielberg, oh, okay. 71 today. Wow. Brad Pitt. And... And ladies, before you ask, because people often see me on the street and think I'm Brad Pitt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Uh, he is, he is well, 54 today. Okay, 54. I was going to guess. Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> I'm going to say right. Stone Cold is 56. 53. Mm. Pretty good. Katie Pretty good. Holmes. Ooh. Oh. I'm going to say former, Katie. Former bride of uh, Tommy. The mentally ill Tom Cruise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 37. 39. Good, mm. good, good. Trent, Trent. Christine Agu- Christina Aguilera. Yeah. Uh, Christina's probably 38. 37, but her boob job is only 10. Ooh. Hey, good, thank good. you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> this is, um, Ray Liotta. Ray's going to be. Ray Liotta, who played uh, Henry in uh, Goodfellas. Yeah. What, what else did he play in? Did he have any? He's he's had kind of a he was also in uh, career uh, with Johnny Depp. Oh gosh, the cocaine movie. Oh, oh yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, yeah, he was yeah, his dad. Yeah, yeah. Blow. blow, blow, yeah. Uh, he did he did play uh, Johnny Depp's dad in Blow. You're right. Ray's sixty nine, sixty two, sixty two. Ray Liotta. 
I got none of them. So yeah. Shook, Shook didn't call? I went nothing. See, see, I don't like these people who stand, who, who get behind the curtains with text and won't call in on the show. I don't like you people who do that. Mm. Mm. I, I, especially you, Shook. If you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna text stuff, you got to be willing to call in. Yeah. On the show, don't just text stuff and stand. You know, get behind your text. Right. Hide behind your text. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 By the way, uh, with regard to the green, to the red light thing, there's a um, there's a survey out and a report out that rates the states on who has the best drivers and the worst drivers. Worst drivers in the country, what state? Um, Worst drivers in the country, I'm going to say Florida. Why would you say Florida? I That's a good one. I have no idea. California. See, I would have said North Carolina based on what we deal with here. North Carolina. They had an increase. They had they had a huge increase in DWIs and moving violations. Oh, Shook is on the phone. Scott Shook has finally. We shamed him into calling. And good morning, <laughs> Chairman That's Shook. Good shame in there. Good Henry Big Head, you calling me out, bud? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Full circle. Scott Shook, Chairman of the uh, North Carolina <laughs> Community College System. I say that in advance, uh, so introduce you that way, so you'll behave yourself during this call. Did you? You're welcome. Uh, First of all, um, why do you go duck hunting at all? Henry, you, you've, you've never been, you've been fallen sending into me water these texts about duck hunting. Water. Why? Go ahead. Uh, you've never fallen into water at 30 degrees at first sunlight and then been outwitted by something with a brain the size of your pinky nail? <laughs> I mean, I, I, if I can't explain that to you, I don't know what to do, you know? <laughs> But, I mean, what's the attraction to get up in the middle of the night and go out there when it's 10 degrees and try to kill a bird, a duck? Well, first of all, we're, we're gentlemen, so we don't get up in the middle of the night. We'll leave at about 545. And as Matt was saying, the days are getting a little longer, so we can sleep in a little longer, which is all good, which is all good. But, Matt, I need some real duck weather. I need it like what? 30 well, what's, degrees what, is fine. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What you just said makes no sense. If the days are getting longer and the sun comes up later, you should be yeah. getting – well, maybe it does make. I don't know. Yeah, you can sleep in later. I guess. Whatever. Hang okay. with me, Henry. Go Hang ahead. With Go ahead with, with your me. question. To All right. Matt. <clears throat> we need uh, See, you can shoot ducks at 30 minutes before sunrise. Okay. Is that Not the state 31. law? Yes. And they're serious about that, too. You know. Well, I mean, who, um, who knows? I, it really. Is I the mean, wildlife guy enough. out there? Sometimes. I, the time you shoot early, he is. You know, it's a flat <laughs> size, Henry. That's all I got to say. So why but, is um, that a law? Because of people uh, using lights to go out and kill deer and stuff? They don't, they don't want to encourage hunting before sunrise? No, I mean, you can shoot. A, a, a duck's got to be, they want to try to make it fair. See, we're not like deer hunters. I mean, they can hunt over corn. We can't do any of that. They want to make it fair for the duck of all people, right? And so of ducks have to be able to see you in, in the blind and all, in the decoys and everything else. I mean, it's just – and plus, if they made it earlier, we'd have to get out of bed sooner. So uh-huh. I'm kind of cool with it. But, Matt, no, seriously, I needed about 31, 32 degrees. I need the wind blowing about 20, maybe a little sleet, maybe oh, spitting rain, something like that. That sure. would be perfect. Sure, sure. You'll get that, like, maybe once a year here in East North Carolina? I know. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise... You, you duck hunters don't like Engelbrecht, do you? I was going to say, East North Carolina. I mean, I, I understand. You might get that in January sometime. With yeah. sleet? Yeah. You throw sleet in there? Oh, I don't want any, sleet. I don't want any sleet. It'll make, my it antenna, too- it'll make my antenna freeze up again and blow up my transmitter again for the 12th time this year. That's right. Well, it <laughs> no is sleet. We, we don't need sleet. <laughs> 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 what was that comment? What did he say? What did he say? And said, so maybe we'll play golf uh, tomorrow, Big Hen. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. 60, 68 What kind tomorrow? of sense is it to go chase a white ball around a golf course? Because <laughs> it's there, baby. That's why we do it. But, but Same thing applies to ducks. I don't, I don't get yeah. the I just don't get the duck hunting thing. Well, I would take you with me, but I we we both be miserable. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, we're just yeah, yeah. that. You got that right. Yeah. If you take me with you. I'll be like a 10-year-old kid going, can we go? Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't want to go duck hunting. I want to say, you sit right here. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, it, hey, all I ask is leave the heat going. Yeah, 
<laughs> All right. There's no heat. There's no heat. Come on. Be a man. Come on. All right, Shooky. Nice to hear it. By All the right. way. All right, come. Yeah. Merry Christmas to you and yours. Oh, you too, Big Henry Big Head. <laughs> was that you that wrote? I told you that I was going to say. I, was, I had a big head. Was that you that wrote that? Bless I, your heart. I did not. I did not. I don't even know how to spell bless your heart. I did not. Oh, I could say but something. I love but I whoever did it. Yeah, I know. You. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck. Right. Hey, Michael, right, do bye. me a favor. Hang up on him right now. <laughs> All right, let's go to break. It is 25 uh, after 8 o'clock. More talk of the town. And the great Marvin Jarman live in the studio coming up. We'll be right back. All 2017 inventory must go here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. This is commercial truck season. Come see our great lineup of Ram commercial vehicles for all your work needs. Check out the Ram 2500, Ram 3500 with cab and chassis, Ram 4500 and 5500. Also Ram Promaster and Ram Promaster City. All 2017 Rams must go during Ram Power Days. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Some pretty incredible things were born in the Carolinas, like barbecue. Born right here, baby. First in flight. Maybe you've heard of it. Mini golf. Boom. And a few of my favorites, the Panthers and Pepsi. Born in the Carolinas. The touchdown dance. Perfected in the Carolinas. My prescription refills. My son shot records. My doctor's appointments. My lab results. My parents care. My chart. Vident My Chart. Vident My Chart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way. Visit VidentMyChart.com or call 1 855 MyVident to learn how you can sign up. Welcome in to the new Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Are you ready to drive a little to save a lot? I'm Rod Emery, General Manager at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Come see us here in Washington for the best deal on a new car, truck, or Jeep and a great sales and service experience. Lease a new Ram Crew Cab truck for just $299 a month and only $299 due at signing during our Drive and Discover event. We're looking forward to seeing you at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, located on Highway 264 in between Greenville and Washington, or visit us at WashingtonChrysler.com. Talk of the town at 28 after 8 o'clock. Michael is doing double duty in there this morning. You're doing a good job, Michael. Good job, Michael. Curly is sick this morning, so Michael is producing for radio and punching the video button. I think it was a good move that Curly made to not come in today. He was in bad shape last week. He was not it, feeling well. No, he didn't look good. He came to the party. And yeah. Didn't, you could tell he didn't feel good, but whatever. So 20, uh, nah. Well, well, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Curly, get well soon. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go to the news desk now. Get our WIT and news update, and then Marvin Jarman and Ronald Vincent will join us live in the studio. The two legends, two Greenville icons, right here on one stage. We'll be right back with that. But first, news headlines from WITN. Here's Matt Engelbrecht. 
Good morning. Time now, 829 on this Monday. Latest news headlines from WA10WA10.com. We start off Pitt County. Local officials say a fire that damaged a Greenville duplex early Sunday morning was intentionally set. Greenville Fire Rescue responded to a report of a grass fire at 1222 a.m. off of uh, Nicholas Drive along Red Oak Fire Department. Uh, according to Greenville Fire and Rescue Public Information Officer uh, Rep- Rebecca Thurston, smoke and flames were visible from one unit when they arrived. Thurston said no one was hurt and that everyone affected was being helped by the American Red Cross. She said an investigation by the Greenville Police Department led officers to believe the fire had been intentionally set. The fire is under investigation. No arrests have been made in this case. One person was killed early Sunday morning in a wreck in southern Pitt County. NC Highway Patrol responded to a report of a wreck at 12.17 a.m. on Hanrahan, Hanrahan, Hanrahan Road. They were assisted by aid in fire and rescue and the Pitt County Medical Examiner. Uh, Troopers said the uh, wreck involved only one vehicle, a 2004 Honda Odyssey, and one victim identified as 50-year-old Caleb Barnes of Grifton. Barnes was pronounced dead at the scene by medical personnel. They say uh, alcohol was a factor in the wreck. And finally, a new bookmobile is expected to make its debut this afternoon in Eastern Carolina. After nearly 20 years in operation, the Pitt County Bookmobile suffered major engine failure in May and had to be taken out of service. The brand new mobile is being debuted this afternoon before the Board of Commissioners meeting at 5 p.m. at Shepherd Memorial Library. New Bookmobile will be a fully mobile library that will run routes three days per week to provide books to as many people as possible. Those are our latest headlines from WI10WI10.com. The time now on this Monday, 831. I'm Manning Breck. Okay, let's uh, check our weather now. Here's McGee with that. All right, partly cloudy skies for today with highs in the low 60s for tonight. Clear and cool with lows in the mid-40s for your Tuesday. Mostly sunny, mild with highs into the uh, upper 60s. Should be a great day tomorrow. Lows tomorrow night around 50 degrees. And for your Wednesday, 60% chance of rain in the forecast. Otherwise, partly cloudy skies with a high of 57 degrees. Okay, that's our uh, news and weather update this morning. Brought to you by the Tire Realty Group and property management team end of the year and so uh, people are selling their homes and of course if you are thinking about even remotely thinking about selling it this would be a great time to call the tire realty group at 758 h o m e because uh the real estate market in greenville is red hot right now average sales price way up and it's an excellent time to sell your home and or rent your home if you want to hold on to it and continue to accumulate the value while you uh let somebody else make the payments. Why don't you let the Tire Realty Group rent it for you? Not enough homes on the market right now, so higher prices and quicker sales. Call them today at 758-HOME. And remember, they guarantee to sell it in 99 days or there's no commission. And as always, uh, there's a one-day listing, one listing contract. Uh, there's no penalty to cancel the listing agreement at any time. And sales professionals are people looking for uh, a change in their life and maybe they're station in life. If you're looking for a professional sales career, there are openings and opportunities right now at Tire Realty. Call them at 758-HOME or visit them online at 99orfree.com. Friday night marked Marvin Jarman's 12, excuse me, 1200th. That was not a burp. It was just kind of a moment of acid. Thank goodness. So please don't mention that and and bless your heart. Um, Marvin Jarman's 1,200th consecutive Rose High basketball game. He's loved by the students. Everybody in town knows him. People around the state know him. Marvin Jarman, we're going to have him here. Live. By the way, he's got on his he's got on his rampant dress shirt this morning. He's got the blue and green stripes, checks. He's looking very slick this morning. Marvin Jarman and uh, Ronald Vincent live in the studio next. Be right back. All 2017 inventory must go here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. This is commercial truck season. Come see our great lineup of Ram commercial vehicles for all your work needs. Check out the Ram 2500, Ram 3500 with cab and chassis, Ram 4500 and 5500. Also Ram Promaster and Ram Promaster City. All 2017 Rams must go during Ram Power Days. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. My prescription refills. My son's shot records. My doctor's appointments. 
my lab results, my parents' care, my chart. Vident My Chart. Vident My Chart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way. Visit VidentMyChart.com or call 1 855 MyVident to learn how you can sign up. Some pretty incredible things were born in the Carolinas, like barbecue. Born right here, baby. First in flight. Maybe you've heard of it. Mini golf. Boom. And a few of my favorites, the Panthers and Pepsi. Born in the Carolinas. The touchdown dance. Perfected in the Carolinas. U.S. Cellular put towers where most others don't. So people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamston, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere. All 2017 inventory must go here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. This is commercial truck season. Come see our great lineup of Ram commercial vehicles for all your work needs. Check out the Ram 2500, Ram 3500 with cab and chassis, Ram 4500 and 5500. Also Ram Promaster and Ram Promaster City. All 2017 Rams must go during Ram Power Days. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway All right, welcome back, 837. And if you uh, are, have been around Greenville uh, in the last 50 years, <laughs> or maybe 100 years, <laughs> you've, probably, uh, you've probably met Marvin Jarman. Marvin is, an, uh, is a legend, literally a legend. And he's so much a legend that he actually got the Chamber of Commerce Legend Award last year. But uh, he has been uh, working at Rose High as a coach and uh, – is that what you are? They call you a coach? Yeah. What are you? He's a coach? Volunteer coach. He's a volunteer coach. Mm -hmm. For how many years, Marvin? Um, now, normally you know the answer to these things immediately. 50-some years. 50-some. So I just asked RV how many years he'd been coaching. He couldn't tell you either. <laughs> Marvin Jarman, uh, who saw his 1,200th consecutive Rose High basketball game on Friday night, is here. And Ronald Vincent the legendary ba baseball coach at Rose High who has won, am I right, six state championships? Right. Six, right. Six state championships at Rose High School yep. and uh, has, be has been Marvin's friend for how long? How, how, how long? Uh, golly, it's been, it's been over – it's been about 60 years. 60 years? 60 years. How right. did you all meet? Uh, Grant played baseball. Grant played Little League baseball. And, Your, uh, uh, Marvin's brother, Grant. Marvin's yeah. brother. And uh, we started hanging out in baseball and just kept going. And now I'm in charge of the – Marvin Jarman shuttle service around Greenville. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think Which is why I called you yesterday. Said, Can you bring Marvin over tomorrow? Three-fourths of Greenville's involved in the shuttle <laughs> yeah, service, yeah. getting him back and forth. That's calls. the truth. Uh, <laughs> so Marvin saw his 1,200th consecutive Rose High basketball game on Friday night. Is it true? 1,200 in a row? Yeah. It was? Yeah. You, what was? You remember the date of the first one? Uh, <laughs> back, back in 1966. Yeah, yeah. It was de December of 1966, and he was he was in high school then. And he started going and God, hadn't missed one in 51 years, Henry. And that's that's, that's, just that's un unbelievable. Yeah, he missed. That's, I mean, he, had you, did, what was the story? about you missed the, Was it the football game you missed because you got sick or something, or uh, missed he, the bus? He, the, the football uh, game was in Wilmington, and they were supposed to be playing at night, and they changed the time. Nobody told him, and nobody told Marvin, and he left early. And and uh, and he missed a ride, and so he uh, that was in 1972, and that's the only football game he's missed. Yeah. So I, I think it's. I mean, you've never been sick for one game in 51 years. <laughs> 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 I 
He got sick at a football game one time at uh, Wilson Fike, but uh, we got uh, through that one Marvin. Yeah, went to the game anyway. Went to the game anyhow. Though. All right, Marvin, so what's your what, – uh, tell us about your memories. What, what do you remember about this? I mean, anything special come to mind when well, you think about Rose High basketball for 1,200 games in a row? Well, I've been to the regionals. Yeah. Four or five times, I think. Going to the regionals at, at right. Minji's five times. How about times. players? How about uh, some, some of the memorable basketball players at Rose High School? Well, let's see. Troy Smith. Troy, Troy Smith. Troy Smith yeah. was really. Now, in fact, that was a great team because you had not only Troy Smith on that team, you had Kevin Monroe. <laughs> so that made yeah. it good. And, and, Tito uh, Simpson. Tito. Yeah, at Tito. Uh, yeah. yeah, Tito Simpson, who uh, – and all three of those guys went on and had great careers yeah. in college football. Right. But they – but they made it. Uh, they made it to the. Did they make it to the finals? That finals, year? regional finals, uh, in like two consecutive years. And I think yeah, Kerry yeah, beat them because Kerry had a bunch yeah. of ACC players uh, on them. That was about the time uh, Hank was in school. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. My son, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But so yeah. anything, anything. What else comes to mind about twelve hundred? Marvin, basketball? how about some of the places you've been? Yeah. <laughs> as far as how many high schools have you been to? Do you have any clue? Yeah. Yeah. Fayetteville, Wilmington. Yeah, Raleigh. All four of Wilmington's schools. Yeah. Run it rapids. And the thing about it is, everywhere rapids. he goes, they know who he they, is. They, when he comes city. in. He goes, Marvin. Yeah. Yeah. Or we, when I go somewhere, where's Marvin? He <laughs> <basketball. Four times. laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, uh, uh, but you've been to Run it rapids, Wilson. Bertie, Wilson. Rotten right Mount. Yeah. There's no telling how many places you've been to ball games, is there? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows who you are when you go to those places? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Plus, you, do you know what's your favorite place to go other than the Rose Garden? <laughs> what's out of town? You just don't have one, do you? Oh, yeah. If it, if it's not Rose High, he doesn't care. Yeah. He just goes because Rose High's going. And how many hours have you slept in a bus riding back and forth? <laughs> I don't know. In a lot. Do you, a lot. Do you fall asleep on the, on the way home? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they're going. So fr- Friday night, the team came out and they were wearing these special warm ups. It had uh, twelve hundred games on yeah. the front, and it had Marvin Jarman on the back. Right. Yeah. And uh, how'd that make you feel? Oh, uh, pretty good. Yeah. You like yeah. that, didn't you, Marvin? The players all love you, right? Yeah. Yeah. You love the players. Yeah. You you love every one of them. I know you do. Yeah, he's he's got he's got football, basketball, and baseball, and then he goes to the. The, the girls games and he goes to other things he you know, he, he goes to a lot of things it's yeah hard to imagine yeah when, so, when the doors are open at rose high he's there aren't they pretty much yeah yeah, if it's, yeah. yeah. i mean the other weekend he was at a, a, a jv a girls jv tournament uh, at, at uh, rose high and that's hard to watch yeah <laughs> we want girls well, much Ooh, for him, i'm won. glad you said that for those parents that are listening <laughs> yeah yeah well, I'm sure they say the same thing. Just, <laughs> just don't score many. Don't score many points. But if they're I, telling the truth, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, you, you, can you make it 1,200 more? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that that would that would be quite a feat if you made it 1,200 yeah. more. Yeah. yeah. Maybe 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 you should set a goal a little lower than that. But yeah. <laughs> well, 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 Henry, you've improved since the first time you interviewed Marvin Jarman. Yeah, I know. Last time I interviewed him, all he did was shake his head on radio. Yeah, <laughs> on radio. Yeah. Tell that story. You tell that story better than I do. <laughs> it was a state championship game. What <laughs> Something I, like that. I've dude. been calling a state championship game. Yeah, I believe it was at the Mudcat Stadium. And, and Marvin, Marvin, what do you think? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just, just shake his, his head. head. Marvin, you got to talk. I kept Henry's, asking him questions. All Mar- he do was shake his head. Marvin, Marvin, you on radio? You have to talk. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing today? <laughs> all right. So the other thing, Marvin has these other skills. Should we ask him about the presidents? Uh, yeah. yeah. He Marvin knows can na- you name you ask Marvin a president, a number, and he can tell you, right? What's your number, Trent? Pick, Pick a, a number, number, Marvin. Uh, how many? 24. Who's number 24, president. Marvin? Uh, Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland. All right, how about the uh, how about the nineteenth president? Rutherford B. Hayes. Where was he from? Rutherford B. Hayes? Rutherford oh, B. Hayes. Yeah, that was would- Guys couldn't have been, shouldn't have been president. Why shouldn't he have been president? Because the old guy had more votes than he did, but he had electoral votes. Electoral votes. Oh, okay. he it was he he won the electoral, but the other guy got more popular. By, by one vote, wasn't it? Yeah. That, that's what that's what people say about uh, yeah. uh, Al Gore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to ask you any political questions. <laughs> All right, who's the uh, who would have been the 33rd president? 
see. Let's see. Oh, uh, that was Harry Truman. Harry, Harry Truman. Truman. Do you like him? Yeah, what, he was all right. What was his wife's name? Beth. Beth, okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He came president of a tough time. Came president of a tough time. World yeah. War II. World That's War right. II, you're right, yeah. yeah. Or just fired yeah. uh, Douglas MacArthur. Fired Douglas MacArthur. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you, did, do you like history? Yeah. Was that your favorite subject? Yeah. History, yeah. <laughs> Well, you, you could teach a history class. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's about, awesome. You didn't like biology, though, did you? No, math. That <laughs> homework. No. You didn't like math homework? I didn't either. I didn't you on that one. <laughs> it was hard to do, wasn't it, Marvin? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Harvey, how about you? Six, uh, six, six yeah. state championships. You back for another year? Yeah, we're going to be back out there this year. How we, many uh, more years are you going to do it? I, I, I don't know. Let, just, me, let, me, let me tell you how long you're going to do it. Okay. Till your toes turn up. Uh, maybe you might be right. You might be right. I just, uh, yeah, you know, you, you get old, and these kids are such good kids, and they still, you know, they, you know, the millennials. You hear this, hear that, but the, the kids are the same. They still want to be. Yeah. They still want the things to be disciplined. They think that the things to be right, and yeah. you know, now the parents have changed, as you well know. Oh yeah. Oh, as you yeah. well know, this media-driven era we're living in now, parents have changed. You know. Uh, uh, I, I often have people uh, yeah. talk about the great baseball um, feeder programs and right. things that go on in Greenville. Yeah. And, they, and, I, and I've been asked, well, how does it happen? Why did that happen? And, and I'm looking at it. <laughs> oh, thank Ronald you. Vincent is thank the reason that the Greenville yeah. baseball programs are what it is. Because I can tell you, I coached in the Babe Ruth League in the late ago. 70s. And Ronald was there every day. Every I mean, day. you Ronald is out there for the Little League games. Yeah. He's out there for the Babe Ruth games. He goes to, you know, and, and, and you have had a hand in molding all of those things in yeah. some way. So yeah. that's why lot, Greenville Baseball is where it is and why we keep sending teams to the World Series and stuff. Speaking of, uh, Henry, you need to put it on your bucket list to go up to Williamsport. How was it? It was awesome. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I, I should have gone this year because yeah, you don't know how many opportunities you'll get. Yeah, you know? and, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's a good place. That's yeah. a lot of fun, and, and you're yeah. really the best weekend for people like you. Uh, and me. White was on that one. Uh, we, I, I was just getting ready to say uh, for people who have not heard this news, very sad news about uh, Alex White, who right. was on the first Greenville team that went right. to the Little League World it. Series, passed away this past week unexpectedly mm -hmm. 30, right. 31 years old 31 or 32 he, Alex, Alex was my I mean his family lived down the street right from us I'm Hank my son Hank used to play basketball and baseball mm -hmm. out in the yard with Alex yeah. he was he was a lot younger than Hank but uh but yeah, uh but that was a, a really tragic unexpected thing. tragic news and that funeral's today today yeah, yeah. what a wow. what a good person he is it yeah was. and a great a good player family. too wasn't he great player great hitter yeah. Great hitter. And, and, uh, did he play in college? He did, didn't no, he? No. He, did. he, went, he, he decided he wanted to go to state to get his education. And yeah. That's what he was going to do. And, yeah. Uh, great family. His, his, oh, his awesome dad's family. a doctor here in town. Yeah. And, uh, it's really just, great. I, that's just a tragic Just tragic no rhyme or reason for some things in the world. It's no, you no, can't, can't understand that can't one. I mean, understand. And they think it might have been an aneurysm or something mm -hmm. on a 31-year-old guy yeah. who was healthy. Who was healthy, yeah. Yeah. Doing a lot of hunting and fishing and stuff. And he was yeah. one of those guys that would go into duck blind at – <laughs> like, Five forty-five yeah. in the sleet and yeah, <laughs> and yeah. stuff like that. So, yeah. well, that's sad to hear. But uh, again, uh, congratulations to uh, to you, Marvin. Twelve hundred games in a row. And what, what a and Marvin asked a question about that. He said, "How many coaches do you think have ever done twelve hundred games?" Probably <laughs> none. None. Probably none. Especially in a have row. Have you ever missed a game? Uh, not a baseball game now. So you no. never missed a game because you were sick or anything? No. Yeah. No. And I, I was sick after a lot of them. But <laughs> <laughs> but no. Yeah, but you won most of them. You won just about all of them. Yeah. 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 But, uh, what yeah. do you think? Uh, is RV, I know he's your buddy, but is he, is he the best baseball coach ever in the state of North Carolina? Yeah. I mean, you'd, you'd, have to look, you'd have to look far and wide to find a guy who's had more success <laughs> than Ronald Vincent, wouldn't you? Yeah. Only one, uh, well, I guess the only one could be Rabbit. Rabbit, Rabbit Fulton, Fulton. No Hill, that's it. That's his buddy now, Rabbit. Yeah. 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 But has Rabbit won six? He, no. No, he won every 10 years or something. He, he like won that. in yeah. like four different decades. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Well, you, 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 your answer was supposed to be no, that nobody can match RV. 
like. <laughs> but he has to tell the so truth. So rabbit can't. doesn't drive you around town <laughs> like RV does. Uh, the rabbit take me to the state game. You take me so to the state game. <laughs> so he, we, we would yeah. give that up. I think yeah. we're tired from that. So. Well, Marvin, Merry Christmas, man. Good to right. see you. Merry Christmas. Merry that Christmas Rose, to you and Rose your family. does well this weekend, Marvin. Your, your brother Grant and Brenda and, uh, and the whole Jarman family. Uh, okay. Merry Christmas to the Jarmans. Merry Christmas to the Vincents. You going to have your kids here? Uh, well, my uh, youngest daughter, Beth, will be here. Kathy's living in Colorado Springs now. Uh, wow. Her husband's in the Air Force and teaching I saw I saw Beth recently somewhere. I saw her somewhere this summer, I believe. Okay, okay. You, you, had, you had two that went to Duke, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Chip That's off the old block. Off the mother's, yep, <laughs> off the mother's side of the family. <laughs> Yep. All yep. right. Well, Merry Christmas to both of you. Thank you for bringing over this morning. Okay. Marvin, thank you. Good. Congratulations, man. Un, un, unmatched. I don't think anybody will ever match I don't think again. anybody ever can. No, no they won't. No, they won't. No, All right, sure. man. See you. All right. We'll go to break. We'll be right back. We're not just introducing the 2018 Toyotas. We're reducing them. It's the introduction reduction at Greenville Toyota. 2018 Corollas, 149 a month. 2018 Camrys, 169 a month. Hurry to Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Some pretty incredible things were born in the Carolinas, like barbecue. Born right here, baby. First in flight. Maybe you've heard of it. Mini golf. Boom. And a few of my favorites, the Panthers and Pepsi. Born in the Carolinas. The touchdown dance. Perfected in the Carolinas. U.S. Cellular put towers where most others don't. So people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamson, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere. All 2017 inventory must go here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. This is commercial truck season. Come see our great lineup of Ram commercial vehicles for all your work needs. Check out the Ram 2500, Ram 3500 with cab and chassis, Ram 4500 and 5500. Also Ram Promaster and Ram Promaster City. All 2017 Rams must go during Ram Power Day. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. My prescription refills. My son shot records. My doctor's appointments. My lab results. My parents care. My chart. Vident My Chart. Vident My Chart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way. Visit VidentMyChart.com or call 1-855-MyVident to learn how you can sign up. Why settle for a 2017 model when you can have massive reductions on a 2018 Toyota? It's the introduction reduction at Greenville Toyota. 2018 RAV4s, $179 a month. Plus, get our advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. All right, welcome back. We are uh, in the studio live here this morning, 853. Good to have Marvin in uh, RV. Live in the studio with us, and uh, McGee had to run off to an early meeting this morning, so I've got a few sports headlines for you, including the uh, breaking story out of Charlotte with the Panthers owner, Jerry Richardson, who has had uh, allegations of worse pl workplace misconduct, and um, last night, surprisingly announcing in a letter on the team website that the team is for sale. He will sell the Carolina Panthers after this season is over, he says he will not entertain any offers or have any pre-meetings on it until after the uh, season is over when the last game is played, as he put it, and then he will start entertaining offers 
to purchase the uh, Carolina Panthers. Uh, by the way, the uh, Forbes magazine list that came out uh, earlier this year on values of NFL teams says that the uh, Carolina Panthers are worth $2.3 billion, with a B, dollars. The, uh, the, the letter announcing he's going to sell the team came after Sports Illustrated published that story reporting that the Panthers have settled with at least four former employees, including inappropriate workplace behavior uh, regarding inappropriate workplace behavior by Richardson. The Sports Illustrated article detailed accusations made against Richardson that include sexual harassment of multiple women and the use of a racial slur toward a scout who has since left the team. Speaking of the Panthers, on the field, Cam Newton, 242 yards, four TDs yesterday. Panthers held off the Packers 31-24. Greg Olson had uh, his best game since coming back, nine passes, 116 yards, and a touchdown. Panthers now 10-4. and four. They host the Buccaneers Christmas Eve, and then they have that big game New Year's Eve against the Atlanta Falcons. They've now won six of their last seven. Patriots over the Steelers last night. What a finish to that one, 27-24. The uh, win secured a ninth consecutive AFC East title for the uh, Patriots in home field for the playoffs. Vikings cruise past the Bengals 34-7 to clinch the NFC North. Saints 31, Jets 19. Eagles over the Giants 34-29. Todd Gurley from Tarboro runs for 152 yards, three touchdowns as the Rams uh, route the Seahawks 42-7. to And the Cowboys won that Monday night uh, bout last night with uh, the Raiders. They go to 8-6. and six. ECU women's team fell to uh, UTEP on Sunday, 79-73. And men's basketball tonight in the Coliseum. East Carolina will take on uh, the uh, UNC Charlotte 49ers tonight in a game in Menji's Coliseum. It'll be a game with two interim head coaches uh, because, of course, uh, both uh, Charlotte and um, ECU have uh, lost their coaches. Charlotte fired Mark Price last week. And of course, Jeff Lebo stepped down uh, several weeks ago. All right, we're done for today. We will be back tomorrow. Everybody enjoy the warm pre-Christmas weather that's probably going to be here through Christmas Day, and we'll see you back here on Talk of the Town tomorrow. We're not just introducing the 2018 Toyotas, we're reducing them. It's the introduction reduction at Greenville Toyota. 2018 Corollas, $149 a month. 2018 Camrys, $169 a month. Hurry to Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Pretty incredible things were born in the Carolinas. Like barbecue. Born right here, baby. First in flight. Maybe you've heard of it. Mini golf. Boom. And a few of my favorites, the Panthers and Pepsi. Born in the Carolinas. The touchdown dance. Perfected in the Carolinas. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. U.S. Cellular put towers where most others don't. So people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamston, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere. My prescription refills. My son shot records. My doctor's appointments. My lab results. My parents' care. My chart. Bite at my chart. 
Vident MyChart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way. Visit VidantMyChart.com or call 1-855-MYVIDANT to learn how you can sign up. Why settle for a 2017 model when you can have massive reductions on a 2018 Toyota? It's the Introduction Reduction at Greenville Toyota. 2018 RAV4s, $179 a month. Plus, get our advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money.